Well, I watch some of the big fish. We're at Mott yeah, Banks Peninsula race on Sunday. Been through the form, done the videos, really like three. Let's have a look at them next on Wow Watch. Yeah, they always have big fields at Mott on a Sunday, and it's certainly no exception this week. Let's go to race number six, our first highlighted video, a horse that went through Cup Week and went a pretty encouraging race. Its name is Better Fly. Let's go to the monitor. The horse on the trail in the uh, McDermott colours is Better Fly. A pretty good effort here. This is behind Wild Excuse, who was in very good form through the Cup Carnival. Gets up the passing lane, runs third, pretty strong field. Drops back in company on Sunday afternoon and chasing a penalty-free win. It's a junior driver's race. John Morrison takes the drive, and he's won the, one of the best junior drivers out there. Prior to that was Luckless running second at Methven on the grass. Probably should have won there so the grass track form shouldn't be any problem. Race 6, number 14, better fly. The only concern I've got is a standing start. We'll need to catch it on the right leg. If it does that, it'll go very close. Let's go to race number 7. And a horse that I thought could be at really good odds. Got to highlight a horse that ran 11th. That's right, 11th at Geraldine last Sunday. Uh, last Saturday. Let's go to the monitor. Golden halo in the green and white covers. Have a look at this. This is Glory Day. I tell you what, had no glory here, went everywhere and couldn't find a gap. In, out, and just kept running into the back of horses. Really nice run. Poor old David White just couldn't get a gap at them. And as you can see, hard held at the line. 11th, very misleading. It can win here. I actually won its only race on the grass track. I thought race seven, number five, Glory Days. If you want to find one at longer odds, I reckon it's it. Main danger, Total Devil will start favourites. Got a good draw, Barry number two. And sounds like, uh, sounds like art went very well through the cup. Carnival. Let's go to race number eight. And also I thought flashed home on the grass at Geraldine last week was Mad Lou Lee. Let's have a look at this video. This is a pretty good one to show because it was very hard to make ground at Geraldine and this one was second to last turning for home. Now we highlighted the winner last week on Wild Watch. That's in the green colours Franco Niven. Have a look at Mad Lou Lee here. I reckon seven lengths off them at the 200 metre mark. Gets beaten ahead. Dashes up the passing lane here for Cherie Tomlinson and I reckon in one more stride probably would have won. Race 8, number 7, Mad Lou Lee. It's won four races, all of them on the grass tracks. So this is its go at the Mott. Main danger, smoke and reactors drawn barrier number 1. But we like Mad Lou Lee to go a couple of spots better this week. Let's have a look at the three highlighted for you. Sunday afternoon at Banks, starting with drop back, race 6, number 14, Better Fly, coming out of Cut Week. The value bet goes around in race 7. It's got no form as five glory days. And the black booker from Geraldine was race 8, number 7, Mad Lou Lee.